everything. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So good day again. So this will be the next method that we will be discussing, which is called the process of elimination. Okay. So in the process of elimination, in uh, involving of course um, our systems again. Okay. So what we do here is we just simply um, eliminate the letter or number that we would want. So ganon lang yung adale. So we are just like for example looking at it like this. You have 24 minus 14, okay? 4 minus 4, that would be eliminated and become 0. So, yun yung point natin. So, we must make one term in the given the same so that we can eliminate. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung kasimple. So, um, of course, in our last video, we are aware that the answer is x, my, x equals to 2 and y is equals to negative 2. Let me just see. Sorry. So, what our point here today is we must arrive with the same answer. Because again, the method is different, but the answer must still be the same. So, the method is different, but the answer must be the same. So, let's now begin with the process of elimination. Again, in the process of elimination, um, just like in regular subtraction, okay, what we need to do is we need to make the terms the same. So let's try to look at this given. Are the 4x and 5x the same? No, because they are not um, similar. The score and 5 are obviously not. Three, um, y and 3y the same? No, okay? So we are only looking at the variables. So what do we need to do to make them the same, okay? Firstly, what I do is this one. Okay. If there is a single given there, a single term there with no numerical beside it, that is what I will change. So, for example, we have this one. Okay, We have y here. Okay? Y has no numerical coefficient. Therefore, y is the thing that I will change. Okay? Meaning, I will make y look like 3y. And how do I make y look like 3y? By multiplying 3 on the given. So, meaning, on the first one, Okay, we have 4x plus y is equal to 6. I will multiply this given by 3. Okay? And this will be 4 times 3 is 12x plus 3y is equal to 3 times <coughs> 3 times 6 is 18. Okay? So now we will be looking at the given. They are the same. They are both 3y already. But what did I do? Okay? I want to, I, to make y equals 3y, I need to multiply it by 3. But why did I multiply it to both, uh, to all the given? Because that is what you call the um, equality for, okay? The MPE. The multiplication prop, prop multiplication um, property of equality. Meaning, uh, in the MPE, whatever I do on the left side, the, you have two sides of the equation, and the right side, I will do also, okay? Well, and going to the left, I will go also on the right. So if I multiply 3 here, I multiply 3 to everyone because that is equal to Think of it like this. If you have, if you're a parent and you have um, five children, you don't give one children and you have 10. You give two to the first, two, two, two to the others, and then three to the last one. It will not be equal. So it must be equal para, ano, it's balanced. Walang ingitan, no jealousy or things like that. Same goes to numbers. Think of it that the numbers are jealous. Okay? If you multiply this by 3, the others will get jealous. So you have to multiply it also by 3. Okay? So multiply everything by 3. So this is our given already. Okay? And then what you need to do is you need to line them up. So again, we will label this. Label this as equation 1, 2. And this is our new equation, equation 3. Okay? We will line them up. Line them up in a, in a way, equation 2 and 3, okay? So what will I line up, sir? I will line up the equation that I did not touch and my new equation. This is the equation that I touched, so don't um, take that. This is the equation that I, uh, I did not touch, so I will take this. Next, this is the new equation, so I will take that as well. So what would happen here is I will list them that down. So this is 5x plus 3y equals to 4. And our new equation, which is 12x plus 3y equals to 18. 
Okay? Firstly, how do we eliminate a number? Okay? You can eliminate a number if and only if you have these cases. Firstly, if they are the same number, 4 and 4, okay, I will subtract. So that is 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Next, if they are of the opposite signs, 4 and negative 4, I will add. So that is 4 plus negative 4, the answer is 0 still. So you have to ask yourself, which one of these two cases, case 1 and then case 2, will, will you use? So let's look at the given. I want to eliminate, remember, this one. Ask yourself, are they both positive or I, is one negative? If one is negative, if one is negative, then you add. If it is both positive or negative, then you will subtract. So meaning here you will subtract because they are both positive. Now let's recall the rules of subtraction. In subtraction, po, what we need to do is we need to change the sign of the subtraction. Okay. We need to change the sign of the subtraction. So in the subtrahend, it's this part. Okay. So we need to change the sign of everything. This becomes minus, sorry, negative. Okay. And then this one becomes negative. And this one becomes negative as well. After that, you proceed to addition. Then you add as is. If you're adding, you just like adding numbers. Okay. 4 plus negative 18, the answer is negative 14. Okay. This one gets eliminated. Why? I say that is our aim. Because it's called the process of elimination because you will be eliminating one term. Next one, 5 minus 12x. 5x minus 12x, the answer is negative 7x. So negative 7x is equal to negative 14. Divide both sides by negative 7. Then your x will be negative, a positive. Okay, let's check. Is it correct? It's really positive 2 for a while. Yes, it's positive 2. Correct. Then let's solve for y. And y can be solved how? Again, it will be solved finally by substitution. So you take this x is equal to positive 2. And then you take 1 equation. Let's take this one. 5x3y equals to 4. So 5x plus 3y is equals to 4. And our x is equals to 2. So 5 times 2 plus 3 times y equals to 4. This becomes 10. Sorry, it's not supposed to be a triangle. And okay, this becomes 10 plus 3y is equals to 4. Then transpose for 4 minus 10. 3y is equals to negative 6. Divide both sides by 3. And you will have negative so let's check. Oh, is our answer negative 2? Yes. Right? So therefore, yun uh, in the process of elimination, it's the same as the process of substitution. You will give, uh, you will get the same answer. Po. Okay? So we don't need to check anymore. Why? Because, of course, um, we just proved that the answers are the same for the substitution and elimination. Therefore, it's, if it's correct in the substitution, then it's definitely correct in the elimination. Okay. So now let's use our ano, our what you call it, our previous uh, previous question again. And our in our previous question, this is our given. Okay, let's move that a little bit. It's x minus three y is equals to five, and you have two x plus five y is equals to negative one. And then um, I forgot. Wait long. Let me let me go back to our previous topic previous discussion and um, it's more here okay. so our answer for that is um, okay it's negative one and positive two going let's go back where is it so it's supposed to have an answer of negative one and positive two so this is what we are aiming for. So let's solve for the given using now the new process called the elimination. Okay. So again, let's look at the given. 
which one would I like to solve? I would like to solve for the one with no x. Um, the x. With no coefficient beside it. So we will take equation 1. That's x minus dy equals to 5. And what do I want x to look like? I want x to look like positive 2x. So I will multiply this by 2. And again, it's equality. Please don't be um, to call this. Uh, madamo. Selfish. If you give 2 to x, then you give 2 to 3y and 2 to 5. So this will become 2x minus 6y equals to 10. This is our equation number 3. Equation 1, and 2, and 3. Then we will use equation 2 and equation 3. Okay, let's sit down. So this would be um, 2x plus 5y equals to negative 1. And then we have 2x minus 6y is equals to 10. Again, how do we do this? If it's the same number, no difference in the sign, we will subtract. Again, if it's the same number, no difference in sign, we will subtract. Meaning it could also be 2, negative 2, and negative 2 subtract still. Okay? But if it's the different number, 2 and negative 2, then you will simply add. Okay? So this one, we subtract again. Again, going back, the rules of subtraction, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Cancelled out. 5y plus 6y is 11y. Negative 11. Because negative 1 plus negative 10, we will add. It's negative 11. Divide both sides by 11, giving you an answer of y is equal to negative 1. Is it correct? I mean, yeah, I'm solving for y here. I think I place it wrong. I think this is our y. Yeah. And this is our x. So um, this is negative 1 still. So this one is correct. Let's go backwards. Let's double check. double check so that we are sure of our answer. Okay, that's correct. It's y is negative 1. Okay, go back, going back. Are we correct? Are we correct? Okay. Where is it? Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm, I went to the wrong one. We should be going to, okay, this one. Okay, going back here. It's correct. We have a value of negative 1 for our y. This is correct. The next one, let's try to solve for x. x is negative 2. And we know that our y is this one. We take one equation. Say we take equation 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 1. And then we will have y is equal to negative 1. Solving for x, 2 x plus 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1, okay? I always tell my students this. If you don't need, if you do not touch them, then do not remove them. I did not touch 2x, 5 as well. I touched y, so I removed y and replaced it with the value of negative 1. Okay? I did not touch negative 1, so it's certain here, okay? Then solve for x. This is negative 5. 2x is not moved equals to negative 1, 2x is equal to negative 1 plus, I sorry, it's negative 1 plus 5, change the sign, okay, 2x is equal to 4, divide both sides by 2, giving you an answer of 2, going back, is it 2, yes, definitely, so we don't need to check anymore, since again, if it's correct in substitution and the answer in elimination is the same, which is negative 1 and 2, therefore our answer is correct. Okay? No need to check. And that is the process of elimination. A little bit tricky again, but of course once you get, you get the hang of it, okay, then um, you would be good. Anyways, let's have a review of the process itself. Firstly, you take one equation and solve for the and look for the given that you would want to change it to. Okay, same data. I want to change x to 2x. And here, 
I want to change y to 3y. Okay. Then again, the next uh, step that you will do is, of course, you transform that given, transform in this part. This is a different. You transform in this part. And after that, you apply the elimination process itself. And the elimination is this one by using either subtraction or addition. And finally, when you solve for one, just simply use the process of substitution to solve for the other, giving you the answer for the x. Okay. And there you have it. And that is the process of elimination. Okay. Um, of course, we will have more examples on that on our um, next uh, videos for sample problems. Okay. So we just discussed the process itself. Okay. I hope you got that. And again, um, if you would be having a hard time for the, regarding our um, the prior knowledge that you need to know, you just need to review integers, operations on integers, and at the same time, similar terms. Okay, well, thank you for listening, everyone. And um, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.